how to connect domain to Wix website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to connect a domain from any other platform aside from Wix, like Namecheap, Hostinger, GoDaddy, uh, and etc. to your Wix website or your Wix domain. So basically, when you are going to create a website on Wix, it is going to give you a subdomain. And that subdomain is going to be named under the name of Wix. For example, you're going to be naming your website like Jack's Clothing. You're going to get jacksclothing.wixwebsite.com, for example. So we are going to head over wix.com. Then we are going to select the website that we are going to set it up. So for example, I'm going to select this one or I rather select the other one. So I'm going to click on the right website like this and then we are going to proceed the process so in here you're going to see the dashboard of the website if you have already set up the um, payment methods and the custom domains and products in etc from the setup page you're not going to see that but if you haven't set up this you're going to see that we have a custom or connect a custom domain in here if you are not going to see it simply you are going to head over the settings in here or the uh, settings from there. And then you are going to head over the domain. So we are going to see here the case or the general setting for site domain in SEO. We're going to see domains in here, click on it. And from here, you are going to see the steps that we are going to need and also set for us to be able to connect the domain. So Wix obviously will suggest from uh, some domains in here from the um, domain of Wix, of course, you can go ahead and buy a domain from Wix, but these are going to be um, upgraded plans to set up a domain. Also, this one is going to be demanding a, um, let's say here, a upgraded plan. But in here, I have this name cheap, as you can see, domain that I have bought. I have bought it for, I think, $1.99 or something like that. It is not going to be uh, very, very um, expensive. So you are going to head over here. It is going to be the same steps or process for all the domains. So basically, what are we going to do? We need only to manage the domain and then we are going to head over the advanced DNS or the DNS settings of your domain. So we are going to add some A records and also some text records. As you can see here, I have set up this domain for Shopify. I can also add it to or here to my Wix as a demonstration only and not for Shopify. Since I have linked it on it. So we are going to copy the domain, as you can see here, like this Jack's clothing that XYZ or XYZ. So we are going to paste it in here, click on let's go. So we are going to ignore all the suggestions from Wix. And this is going to have this. So this is I own this domain. I'm going to click on I own this domain. As you can see, it is going to be taken because, of course, we own it. When you click on it, you need to be upgrading your uh, Wix website. After upgrading your Wix website to a premium plan, and this is uh, going to be a must or mandatory to set up the domains, as you can see, like that. Select from the light, the core, business, or business elite, one of these. And simply, you're going to head over the, uh, let's say, process for setting up the domain, it will give you a A text record and also a C record. And those are going to be added from here, from the DNS. So it, they are going to give you a value and also a host and a type. The type are going to be a record, C name records, text records, and etc. So if you want to add the record to your DNS uh, settings, you're going to click on add new like this and select the um demanded record for example you're going to have here text record so you are going to set up text record set up the the host as you can see obviously the texts are going to be only at for example you are going to set up at and the value is going to be the website or the uh, let's say the getaway that the wix will demand from you to set up. So basically this is the setup of Wix. I have got this uh, screenshot or screen capture from the official support of Wix. So when you click on, I own this domain, you are going to see four steps. So the first one is going to log in into your domain provider 
open up new tab domain then check up back here i click on i logged in obviously it is going to find your domain settings page then find your dns record this is going to be also very simple since i have showed you that so you are going to head over your managing uh, the domain page then you are going to add your records so this is the first thing or the last thing that you need to do that you're going to update your dns and obviously in here the dns are going to be in here this is the step 404 so you are going to get a a type uh, text and a C name. You're going to add the hosts, as you can see here, www on C names and at on a type. So you're going to copy all the values in here. Each one individually you are going to add the new record. For example, the uh, for here text. I think it is, it is a a type, not a text. So you are going to have here the a type or a record. Set up the host at, for example, like that, and then it is going to be, give you the IP address. You're going to copy and paste it in here. And for the TTL, it is going to be automatic. And you're going to add another one like the CNAME record. Set it up with the host, for example, like this, www target in here. You're going to add the one that they have given you in here. Basically, that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content, and I hope to see you soon on the next one.